Hi, my name is John Raleigh from Bush River Kitchen. I'm a chef and a hunter and an outdoorsman. So I've been a chef for the last 20 years and um, I've been hunting, I guess, for about the same. So since I started cooking, been hunting and fishing and I wouldn't do it any other way. So there's no better way after a hunt. Come back, celebrate with a nice cold beer and a pizza. So my go-to pizza for venison is venison sausage with thinly sliced potato and it's got a creamy bechamel sauce underneath. So first step, we're just gonna do a quick venison sausage. So we're gonna start by mincing the venison, onion and garlic. And then we'll just roughly chop the herbs and fold that through with a bit of salt and pepper. So we're just thinly slicing some potatoes on a mandolin. I'm always working from the in out. It's been resting for a couple hours now outside at room temperature. The dough is made 24 hours in advance and we make a poolish as well. So it's a couple of day process, but it's worth it. So to start the pizza base, once you've pinned it out, you start with a thin layer of bechamel, top it with the thinly sliced potatoes, your venison sausage, and just a sprinkle of rosemary and a bit of olive oil. So the secret to a good pizza is getting your oven as hot as you can. So you want the whole roof to turn white. When that's uh, white, you know it's gonna be hot. I do have a little thermometer here. I always give it a test, 500 degrees there. And put it straight in that texture oven. I started in bakeries, so I've always loved bread and dough. So pizza's one of those things I just love to do. Can't actually beat the taste of wood-fired pizza for me. Um, so much better than commercial ovens. You just get that taste of the outdoors. We're using our deer antler pizza knife. There's nothing better than a beer and a pizza, especially using venison you've caught yourself. Taste of the outdoors. <laughs> 